Eastman Performing Arts Medicine is a program that brings musical performances and music therapy from Eastman students to patients and staff at Strong Hospital. This week, they received a grant from the National Endowment of the Arts that will allow them to broadcast performances right to hospital rooms. Dan Gross has the story. Eastman Performing Arts Medicine started in 2018 by Galen McCormick with the aim of providing music therapy and performances to the hospital, allowing patients and staff to become present in a stressful time. So I become really present with just the situation, who I am. I'm here in this time and space and it's very well identified for me that you are here right now. But so much of what they do requires people to be able to get to the performances and programming besides their iPad concerts, even when it's in this beautiful chapel. Robin Franklin of the chapel says that due to old equipment, they can't display chapel programming throughout the hospital anymore. This chapel has been here since 59. I don't know when the equipment went in, but it just kept breaking down and kept needing service. And, and after a year of work by McCormick, a grant was awarded by the National Endowment of the Arts. It's so hard to express that I was almost crying when I opened that email. I was so excited. <laughs> they are now able to renovate this archaic system. It's a significant investment from all of us, but it's something that's going to make such a difference. And bring this incredible programming in the chapel from musicians like violist Sean Mulligan. All basis of healing, you need a place of belonging. Music just makes that possible. To everyone who needs it especially those who can't get up and see it. So it'll just be as easy as clicking the channel on their TV. It's just a very important part of the program to me that we make sure everyone we serve has the access to music. Fantastic playing, I might add. McCormick says that they are looking at 2024 to start that programming once all the upgrades are complete and installed. Reporting in the studio, Dan Gross, News 8.